Hey, I'm Sam. I'm a chemist from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And these days I'm mostly interested in making cheap solar cells out of plastic. So most of the solar cells that you're used to seeing uh, up on people's roofs or on satellites, those are all made with metal called silicon. And silicon does the job really well, but it also is terribly expensive. So you and I can't go around just buying solar cells and sticking them on our walls and roofs very easily unless the government is helping us out. Uh, if we could get rid of silicon metal and replace it with something that's a lot cheaper, then we could actually start doing things like charging our phones on the go or sending solar cells to developing countries overseas for people that don't have electricity on a power grid like we're used to. Uh, so that's where me and my group come in. We are organic chemists. That means we don't work with metal. We work with cheaper uh, materials. And I'm a synthetic chemist, and that means that I make all of my own materials. So if I think of a new material design that I think would be really neat for a solar cell, I can go and make it over the course of a few weeks or a few months, and then I can put it in a solar cell and we can see how that all works out. Um, usually the materials that I'm trying to make are, uh, they have to absorb sunlight, and then they also have to transfer that sunlight into electrical energy. And they, this is probably the hardest part, they have to move that electrical energy out of the solar cell so that we can actually use it in our devices and everything. Um, so. I said we use plastics to make these solar cells, and that's because we're actually really good at making a very thin, thin layer of plastic stretched out over a wide area. And what that means is that we can get a whole bunch of solar cells that use just a little bit of material and still do a really good job for really cheap. Uh, so we're hoping to see organic solar cells actually roll out into the marketplace in the next couple of years. And if our studies work out, you might even see better solar cells than that even sooner. Thank you.